uh, hello everyone uh, this is a uh, course of heat and mass transfer and this is unit number 3 and this is the lecture number 3 of uh, this course today we will be discussing the thermal boundary layer okay uh, in the previous class we discussed about the uh, laminar boundary layer okay and uh, we discussed about the uh, fluid boundary layer as you can see uh, but uh, and today we will uh, be deriving the concept of thermal boundary layer and these are the uh, objectives uh, we will discuss the Reynolds number, parental number and Nusselt number that we have earlier uh, uh, derived and now we will be trying to derive uh, the working knowledge of these dimensionless number. Then we will discuss uh, distinguish between laminar and turbulent flow that we have earlier ordered it but in context of uh, convection heat transfer and uh, thermal boundary layer. and. Uh, uh, we will um, understand the mechanism of momentum and heat transfer in turbulent flow. Then we will discuss and derive uh, the differential equations that govern the convection on the basis of mass, momentum and energy balances and solve these equation for some simple causes such as laminar flow over a flat plate. So these are the uh, so, uh, uh, what is the meaning of thermal boundary layer? What is the difference between uh, thermal boundary layer, uh, layer and uh, simple boundary layer uh, in the context of um, con uh, convection heat transfer? Okay. So, a thermal boundary layer develops when a fluid at a specified temperature flows over a surface that is at, the at a different temperature. So, the thermal boundary layer um, uh, is a flow region over the surface in which the temperature variation in the um, direction of the uh, surface is uh, significant okay so uh, just like the um, uh, 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 fluid boundary layer uh, the same concept is applied over here except the that in the fluid boundary layer uh, the effect of velocity or the you can see the velocity gradient was, was not zero while uh, uh, similarly uh, here the thermal bound and gradient is not zero Okay, so the thickness of thermal boundary layer is given by this uh, uh, delta T at any location along the surface and it is defined as the distance from the surface at which the temperature difference uh, um, uh, difference or T minus or T infinity means the T or T minus T uh, surface uh, is equal to 0 0.99 times of the uh, ambient temperature and surface uh, difference of ambient temperature and surface temperature. So the thickness of thermal boundary layer increases in the flow direction since the effect of heat transfer are felt at greater distances from the for, um, surface further uh, down the uh, steam. So uh, this is uh, how the uh, you can see the effect of heat transfer uh, uh, can be felt across the thermal boundary layer. The shape of the uh, temperature profile in the thermal boundary layer dictates the convection uh, heat transfer uh, between a solid surface and the fluid flowing over it. Okay, so the concept of the thermal boundary layer is similar to the concept of um, um, uh, concept of uh, fluid boundary layer only the difference is the existence of temperature gradient okay and the problem is all uh, dealt almost in a similar fashion as it is dealt uh, in case of uh, as it is dealt in case of uh, a fluid boundary layer so uh, the therm uh, the uh, the dimensionless number uh, which combines the uh, velocity and thermal boundary layers or you can say that gives us the insight of thermal boundary layer and ve uh, ve velocity or fluid boundary layer uh, is given by a dimensionless parameter which is known as the uh, parental number okay so uh, um, with the help of parental number we can uh, uh, calculate the relative thickness of uh, these two uh, boundary layers okay so the parental number is given by the molecular uh, diffusivity uh, of momentum upon molecular diffusivity of heat okay so that is uh, again uh, molecular diffusi diffusivity uh, is given by the ki kinematic viscosity and um, molecular uh, and molecular diffusivity of heat is given by uh, thermal diffusivity okay that is called alpha so uh, the overall relationship that comes out to be uh, um, is equal to mu cp upon k okay we put the value uh, of mu equal to mu upon rho and alpha equal to uh, k upon rho cp uh, so um, this quantity uh, mu upon mu cp upon k will uh, come out 
now the parental number of gases are about uh, uh, most of the uh, gases are about 21 which indicates that both momentum and heat dissipates through the full fluid at about the same rate and uh, heat diffuses very quickly uh, in liquid metals and very slowly in oils relative to the uh, momentum consequently the thermal boundary layer is much thicker for liquid metals and much thinner for oil uh, relative to the uh, velocity boundary layer velocity uh, boundary layer okay so the typical ranges of parental uh, numbers uh, of common uh, fluids are given here as you can see for liquid metal this is the typical value of parental number for gases this is the value of parental number that is around 1 then water this is 1.7 to 13.7 liquid organic fluid this is 5 to 50 this is oil uh, for oil and for the uh, glycerin as you can see these are, are the typical values of parental number uh, for different types of fluid then this is the scientist that gave the parental number his name was ludwig prantl and it was he was again a german uh, physicist famous for his work on aeronautics and he was uh, uh, this is the is a brief biography of uh, uh, of uh, uh, ludwig uh, prantl and uh, uh, as you can see he uh, his prantl uh, number was uh, was actually named after uh, his name so you know, here uh the uh, here uh, we will uh, uh, do a little bit discussion on laminar and uh, turbulent flow okay so the laminar uh, flow uh, act, um, are those flows where um, the streamlines are smooth and highly ordered um, okay uh, while in turbulent flow velocity fluctuation uh, are uh, are present and uh, the fluid motion is uh, highly disordered similarly in the transition flow uh, the flow fluctuates between laminar and turbulent flow most flows are encountered in practice as we all know are the or uh, turbulent flow as you can see in this uh, figure this is how the uh, uh, flow of the fluid varies from laminar to turbulent flow okay and uh, Uh, and, and laminar and turbulent uh, uh, this actually shows the laminar and turbulent flow of uh, when we burn a candle uh, and the smoke that comes out okay so um, uh, this is again uh, one more way uh, to uh, 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 to identify the laminar uh, flow and the uh, and uh, uh, turbulent flow okay like the dye is injected over from here and as it moves uh, forward Uh, injected from here and uh, if uh, this uh, kind of uh, orderly uh, motion or, or dye trace is obtained then it is a uh, you can say uh, laminar flow and if this kind of uh, uh, dye uh, uh, path comes up then we can say that this is a, uh, a turbulent flow so reynolds number is the quantity that governs the uh, rain, uh, turbulent flow and or uh, 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 and laminar flow okay and reynolds flow uh, reynolds flow represents the ratio of uh, inertia forces to the viscous forces and uh, as you can see here uh, this is uh, the uh, this is the uh, this uh, part uh, shows the uh, inertia force and this force so part shows the viscous force and uh, it actually shows the la uh, transition for, uh, from um uh, laminar to turbulent flow dip, uh, and uh, depending upon geometry surface roughness and flow velocity surface temperature and type of fluid and uh, flow regime depends mainly on the ratio of inertia forces to the viscous force and uh, uh, this is the uh, formula that most commonly be encountered while uh, these two formulas while dealing with the uh, uh, reynolds number okay and uh, this uh, these two are the most famous formulas that we uh, always encounter while uh, when we deal with uh, reynolds number and uh, as i have earlier discussed that it is the ratio of inertia force uh, to the viscous force which are acting on a fluid element so uh, what does a large reynolds number indicate okay uh, in, uh, the in, uh, it shows that inertia forces which are proportional to the fluid density and the square of the fluid velocity are large relative to the viscous force thus the viscous force cannot be uh, cannot prevent the random and rapid fluctuation of the fluid so it it actually shows that that there is a turbulent flow so a small or moderate reynolds number indicate that viscous forces are large enough to suppress these fluctuation and keep the fluid in the line 
okay that is why it is called the laminar flow so the critical reynold number uh, um, is the number at which the flow becomes turbulent the um, value of critical reynold number is different for different geometries and flow conditions Okay, so Osborne Reynolds was the person who discovered this uh, Reynolds number. As you can see, the uh, all most of his achievements are listed over here, and uh, his uh, the uh, this is the, his paper, the law of resistance in the pa uh, parallel channel, where he investigated transition from smooth or laminar to the uh, turbulent flow. Okay, so this is how he actually gave and he also gave the theory of lubrication later on 1989 he developed mathematical framework in which which became a standard in the turbulent work his other work also include the experimentation of the determination of the mechanical equivalent of heat. Okay, so the um, uh, this is the uh, Reynolds number because of uh, him uh, he actually discovered the uh, Reynolds number. So the turbulent flow, as we have earlier said, that turbulent flows are those flows um, which are encountered in engineering. Most of the uh, flows which are encountered in the engineering practice are turbulent flows, and um, uh, the uh, it is important to understand uh, how turbulent flows uh, um, affect the wall shear stress and heat transfer. Turbulent flow, as we know, that is a complex mechanism dominated by the fluctuation and theory of turbulent flow um, is still not fully understood. Therefore, we must rely on experiments and empirical or semi-empirical correlation developed for various situations. So the turbulent flow uh, are, um, is characterized by or, uh, disorderly and rapid fluctuation of swirling or region of fluid called uh, these are also known as the eddies throughout the flow now, so these fluctuation provide an additional mechanism for momentum and energy transfer so these eddies transport mass momentum and energy to the other region in of the flow much more rapidly than molecular diffusion greatly enhancing mass momentum and heat transfer turbulent flow is associated with much higher values of uh, friction heat transfer and mass transfer coefficient and uh, as you can see this actually turbulent flow means that in, uh, intense mixing in the turbulent flow brings in um, brings fluid particles at different temperatures into close contact and thus enhances uh, heat transfer so as you can see this uh, this is, uh, shows the uh, the theory of turbulent flow uh, this is the ba uh, only the basics uh, that we are dealing here so as you can see the fluctuation um, uh, this contains to uh, uh, the average uh, value the turbulent flow contains average value and fluctuating component that is uh, u bar is the average value and u dash is the uh, fluctuating component okay similarly along v direction b bar and uh, v dash similarly the pressure in terms of pressure it is p and uh, p dash uh, in terms of temperature it is t bar and uh, t dash okay so no, uh, we can note that force in a given direction is equal to the rate of change of momentum in that direction the horizontal force acting on a fluid element above da due to the passing of fluid particles um, through da is delta f and we can calculate by utilizing uh, this relationship therefore the shear stress per unit area due to the eddy motion of these uh, fluid um, delta f upon da equal to this value can be viewed as the instantaneous turbulent shear stress and the turbulent shear stress can be expressed as uh, by uh, this equation and uh, as you can see this is the uh, of, uh, overall theory that has been derived for the uh, turbulent flow uh, this is also known as the Reynolds stress or uh, simply turbulent stress and you can see the fluctuation of velocity component with the uh, time at a um, specified location in a turbulent flow and this is a uh, figure shows the uh, fluid particles moving upward through a differential area da as a result of uh, velocity fluctuations okay so this is the meaning of turbulent flow this is how the turbulent uh, uh, flow is calculated or uh, uh, tau turbulent equal to shear stress or turbulent stress uh, is calculated Uh, so as you can see uh, this quantity uh, gives the uh, heat transfer rate uh, uh, through the turbulent flow 
okay and uh, this is the quantity uh, that uh, gives the total heat flux uh, 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 this uh, uh, total heat flux okay, uh, i mean yeah. total shear stress and this is the total heat flux and vt is mu t upon rho that is kinematic uh, eddy viscosity or eddy diffusivity or momentum and alpha t is equal to eddy thermal diffusivity and eddy thermal diffusivity of heat and uh, as you can see the velocity gradient at the wall uh, is given uh, by this equation and uh, this is the turbulent uh, um, this is for the turbulent uh, flow and uh, um, uh, the velocity profile of the turbulent flow. then uh, today uh, so this is for uh, today's lecture and uh, today we learned about the thermal boundary layer and how to calculate the thickness of the thermal boundary layer and what is the meaning of thermal boundary layer and we also calculated the parental number so the parental number as we have earlier discussed is uh, defined by um, this uh, ratio that is molecular diffusivity uh, uh, to the uh, molecular diffusivity of uh, heat or you can say nu upon alpha that is equal to mu cp upon k so these are the uh, some review question that uh, how will a thermal boundary layer develop in a uh, flow over a surface even if the fluid and the surface are at the same temperature what is the physical significance of Reynolds number and how does uh, the turbulent flow differ from laminar flow and for which uh, flow is the heat transfer coefficient is higher. So these are some of the references uh, uh, from which the PPT was prepared. So thank you for for this lecture.